He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Psalms 91, 1 and 2. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm Don. Thank you, Lord, for your word this morning, the grace upon this word, to release this word. And for my brothers and sisters, in Jesus' name, amen. Glory, glory. You know, this word is really about being humble. David was humbling himself before the Lord when he wrote this. And we, most of the time, will walk around with a false sense of humility. We won't acknowledge that, yes, God has placed these gifts in me. Yes, God has taken me here. Yes, he's doing this through me. Um, that's not to say that when I go out and do something for somebody that I'm going to be raising my hands. Hey, look at me. Look what I'm doing. <laughs> no, being humble is acknowledging who God is in you. And what he is doing through you, and releasing that life to others. If he's if he's uh, speaking something to you, and you really feel like you need to release it, release it, and give God thanks for that word. When people start saying that's a great word to God, say yeah, <laughs> thanks. It is a great word, and leave it at that. You do, you don't have to expound upon it. Um, I'm having a little trouble with this word this morning. I'm not going to stop rolling because of it. But I want us to see that that our humility, when we're truly humble, we acknowledge who we are in God. We know who we are in God. As the psalm says, I will say to the Lord. I will say to the Lord. I'm not a worm because you are greater in me, Jesus. I'm a son. I acknowledge that. And it's only because of what you've done, Jesus, that I am a son. And when we begin to acknowledge what God's doing in our lives, not in a boastful and proud way, but in a way that lifts God up, that, that brings out a desire in others to, to lift him up as well, that's being humble. False humility says, no, 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 no. God makes some people kings and priests, but not everyone. <laughs> That's not what the Word said, though. The Word says, I'm a king and I'm a priest. <laughs> Unto my God, that I can come to Him boldly. <laughs> it doesn't say, crawl on your knees like a, like a stinking worm. <laughs> and then maybe He'll listen to you. It says, it says, come boldly to the throne of grace in your time of need. <laughs> um, God will raise us up in his time. He will raise us up. I don't know how high he's going to raise us. Uh, it doesn't say that. What it says is he'll raise us up. And where does he raise us up to? He raises us up to his level because he won't ever... Descend to our level because Christ has already been on the level of humanity. He already knows all these things. He doesn't have to come back and become human again. His, his presence fills all things. And when we begin to acknowledge those things, we're walking humbly, I believe. It's not about beating yourself. It's not about saying, oh, I'm worth then, but at the same time, pat me on the back, pat me on the head. <laughs> I'll beat my chest. I'm glad I'm not like them, Lord. <laughs> you see, <laughs> I'm glad, Lord God, that you bring my brothers and sisters in with me on this. I'm glad, Lord, that the giftings and the callings that you've placed in me, I can acknowledge those things. That's being humble. That's giving glory to God. It's not glorifying yourself in it. Glory. I hope this makes sense. <laughs> glory. Praise the Lord. When we see ourselves through the glasses of God, we're not going to be looking at ourselves beating our chest. You know, in me dwells no good thing. But with that said, I'm not a worm. I'm not, I'm not lower than the rock on the ground. I'm a son. I'm an heir with Christ Jesus. I acknowledge those things. I will say to the Lord, 
my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And I'll boldly proclaim that. That's being humble. And that's acknowledging who God is in your life. Begin to do that. And I just want to say thank you for coming and sitting with me on my blog this morning. You're awesome. And I just want to bless your day. I thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace upon this word. I ask, Lord God, that the words that I've spoken would fall off and the words that bring life would be magnified and that it would soak, seep, drain into, go down into our spirits, Lord God. That, that you would be glorified in this. Lord God, that we would we would glorify you in everything that we do, in every aspect of our lives, Lord God. We would raise our hands and we would say, glory to God. That you are our God, that we would acknowledge you in these things. Your word declares, Lord God, to acknowledge you in all our ways, and you will set our paths straight. And I just want to acknowledge you right now and say, thank you, Lord. And I repent for the times that I've beat my own chest. And I thank you, Lord, that we can just walk in these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, <laughs> I'll say it again. Get alone with the Lord. Begin to seek Him. Begin to thank Him. Thank Him for everything, every little tiny thing. And let that little tiny thing turn into a huge praise. Acknowledge Him. Acknowledge Him. He is great and greatly to be praised. Don't hide behind knowledge. Don't hide behind your own wisdom. Don't hide behind your own understanding. Abide in Him. <laughs> that means stay put in Him. Rest in Him. <laughs> and then step out in faith and become worship. They who worship God must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Glory. Glory. Let's begin to acknowledge what God is doing in us and not try to hide behind a false sense of humility. Let us begin to acknowledge that we are kings, that we are priests, that we are before our God, that He sits on the mercy seat, that we do fall, that we do have faults. <laughs> and that some of those faults are actually placed in there by the Lord so they can be brought out and show God's glory and grace in our lives. <laughs> Just think about that. Just think about that. Praise the Lord. I sure wasn't done again. <laughs> glory. Let's begin to acknowledge God in what we're doing. Let's, let's not leave Him out of the equation. Let's not try to do these things in our own strength. Let's, let's release what we want to do to Him. That way, if He wants to really do it, He's going to do it right. He's going to do it bold. He's going to do it big. He's going to step out. And He's going to blow the minds of those that think they know. <laughs> God takes His foolish things and confound the wise. He laughs at those who think they have something. Release those things to Him. Release those things. Let's just begin to, you know, pick up our, our instruments. Let all that hath breath praise the Lord. Glory. In all our ways, let's acknowledge Him. And He will adjust our paths. Glory.
course, good morning. <laughs> Sometime. <laughs> I will see you. Bye.